CataractCoach.com, inadvertent iridodialysis and hyphema. At the end of this case, the bimanual eye instrument catches the iris, and you thought you were done with the surgery, right? Now let's watch this case here. Here we go. Looks like a small pupil, a lot of sneaky there, adhesions on the lens capsule. Hmm, tough case. Now I'm going to start off with some Irish stretching, pupil stretching. That's a neat technique, and I certainly like that. Hey, did I tell you about RetinaRounds.com, our new sister channel? It is amazing. A new retina video every single day, including videos that are meant for cataract surgeons like you and me. I promise you're going to learn a lot. Check it out. Now, there is a stretch in one direction. Maybe do a little stretch in the other direction. Notice how the anterior chamber is like a little bit shallow here. Yeah, it's not a simple case here. So in a case like this, you notice the AC is a little shallow. Pre-op AC depth is, let's say, 2 point something millimeters. You notice the eye wall power is 26 diopters. Mm, it's going to be a tough case. So you know what? Let's get the iris hooks in. Beautiful. Here's the beginning of the case, getting the rexus done. Iris hooks are in. I like the idea. If you need iris hooks, use them. No problem at all. And in shallow AC, I think you're better off using iris hooks than using a Malugan ring. But it's up to you. You do what makes you happy. Now, getting that erectus completed here, look at all that. The Sinechia that were stuck in that anterior lens cap, those are coming off too, that iris pigment. And now you complete erectus. And that looks pretty darn good here. So, okay, we'll do the cataract surgery. Let's fast forward to the end of the case. Here you go. Eye wells going in the capsular bag. Single piece of acrylic lens. A beautiful surgery. Look, you'll see a nice looking erectus. And you think, hey, we're done. This is going to be easy. All righty. There's that lens in. Now watch carefully. Watch, watch, watch. And oh, oh, did you just see what happened here? Now remember also, not just a shallow AC, but the iris hooks tent the iris up a little bit. So when you go in that paracentesis, you're not careful. You can, like you saw here, inadvertently snag. You snag that edge of the iris, and by pushing it in, you cause some iridodialysis. Now, it's not too bad. You can just finish the case here, but what are you going to do now? Again, look at that beautiful Rexus lens in the capsule bag, finishing up the case here, but now look carefully. Watch, watch, watch. What do you notice? What do you notice? Hyphema. Look, you got some bleeding from that iris. So closing up the main incision here. Oh, look, more hyphema. There it is. Now, it's not, it's not a huge hyphema. It's a little bit. But what you do now, I get the pressure up. I take the iris hooks out, and I get the IOP up in the eye. But now, look, where's the blood going? Oh, boy, it looks like it's gone to the anterior hyaloid face in burger space. So let's get these iris hooks out now. We don't need them anymore. And by the way, I do the same as this. Or an easy way to get these out is undo this and then just pull. But obviously, be very careful. Don't pull on the iris. So again, loosen up the collar here. And again, these videos are 2x normal speed now. The beginning of the case was the normal speed. Now we sped it up to 2x so we can get through the whole case here. Oof, get the hooks out. Now, what do you want to do? Just think. Right now, I don't know what would you do. Now, if it keeps bleeding, what you should do to stop the bleeding, get the pressure up. You can temporarily put the pressure on the eye at 50 or 60 millimeters of mercury. You can put some epinephrine in the eye if you'd like to. So here, kind of washing it out a little bit, but there's still some blood there that's not going to be washed out. The, the blood that's there in the anterior highlight face is not going anywhere. So just leave it be. Don't manipulate more. I just get the pressure up at this point. Get your IOP up. Yeah, if you want to, you could put in some meiotics. I think you can just get the pressure up. It's not too much bleeding. I think it'll end up resolving. This amount of blood in, in that vitreous cavity should resolve pretty quickly, so I wouldn't worry too much. But I just want the pressure up high right now. I don't want to see this patient tomorrow, post-op day one, and the patient slowly bled all day, and you come there with a big eight-ball high fever the next day. You don't want that. So again, you can try to wash some of this out, but I don't think you're going to have any luck there. Again, that looks like it's... The blood looks like it's now behind the posterior capsule. So what should you do now? Yeah, I just finish. I think you're flushing out some of it, but I don't think it's behind the, the IOL in the capsule bag, is it? Let's see. Maybe you'll see better than me. Let's see when the surgeon comes out. Nah, it's still there. That's, that's in the vitreous. I think that's vitreous. But now look, there's iridodialis there on the right side of your screen here. A couple of clock hours was right there. And you can see the pupil now has that D-shaped like a backwards D. You see where it's the straight edge of the pupil there? That's the dialysis area. So what do you want to do now? Are you going to fix it now? I think the better part of judgment is to not worry about it today. Finish this case. Stop the bleeding. That's the key. Once you're sure it's not bleeding anymore, finish up the case. You get that, get that back in the eye. But now look at, the, look at the iris damage here. It's a big dialysis that should be repaired. Could you repair it right now? 
I think just it's maybe easier just to come back and repair it at a second sitting if you need to. Again, here, doing it now, you could do it at this point, but I think you're better off just coming back. But wow, tough case. Remember, it's not over until it's over. That was tough. Hey, remember, check out cataractcoach.com, our actual teaching website. There's so much great material there. Please never email me asking a question that you can get from cataractcoach.com, the actual website. Because remember, with 100,000 people watching these videos, there's more than a million views a month. How many emails can I answer?